Hello, Jesse Good here. Today we're taking a look at the LEGO 2019 Jurassic World set of the Lophosaurus on the Loose, which has 168 pieces, three minifigures, one dino figure, and retails for $20 in the United States. This releases August 1st in the US, June 1st in Europe, and I guess for other parts of the world. This was sent to me by LEGO to review early, but all opinions in this video are my own. So the dinosaur figure included with this set is the Dilophosaurus. And this is kind of a big thing because this is the first version to be using this piece for the whole body. The only other piece here is this bottom mouth attachment, which just clips on like any of the other dinosaur pieces. That looks kind of creepy. But the whole big thing behind that is that the original version was quite oversized. It was the size of a raptor. And this one is a lot more accurate just for the dinosaurs trying to portray. I like the coloring they have here with the olive and that kind of tan or orangish color. Also, there's a stud up top. Uh, it's not a rubber piece. The tail is rubber, but the rest of the body is a hard plastic. Unfortunately, unlike the other Dilophosaurus, since it doesn't have a larger body piece or made of multiple pieces, you can't adjust the legs. The legs actually just attach to uh, two separate studs. You can't adjust the arms. The only thing could really move is that mouth there. So you can't move its head even. So that's a little bit of a shame, but I understand when it's a smaller piece like this, they have to be a little bit more limited in movement from my understanding just to keep the cost down because it probably costs a lot to make very small pieces that are specialized and have lots of movement areas. The Owen minifigure of this set is the same version that appeared in numerous Jurassic World sets last year. Nothing really special here, and he does have an alternate face, which has a more angered expression. This kid is Hudson, and this is a figure I really like because he's exclusive to this set with a very awesome torso print. I could see a lot of people using that for their sig figs. And he has a new face print as well, which you could see a continuation of that torso printing at the back with the hoodie. One side is shocked and it is in that flesh coloring, which is super useful. And at the front, he has just a more confident smirk. So this is probably my favorite figure of the set besides the dino. And the last mini figure of this set is one of the Jurassic World staff. And the only interesting thing is the exclusive torso, which I do like the design of. It's a staffing shirt, a little name tag and whatnot. And at the back, it does have the Jurassic World logo, which kind of makes it a little bit less useful than it is. She does have a face print that's a bit uncommon, but uh, isn't anything new and her hair hat ponytail appeared a lot in LEGO City last year. There's two builds in this set. And for me, the much more interesting build is the gift shop, which the design of this is based off of a dinosaur's mouth. And I think that's really interesting on how they pull that off using clipped pieces and ball joints at the bottom to get those different angles. There's some nice holders for hats at the side, a stickered sign at the top saying gift shop. Another thing saying that the attractions are coming soon. There's printed popcorn little buckets right here, which is a piece that we got a little bit earlier this year, but there's two in this set. And my favorite part of this in terms of the stuff they're selling are these little accessories. Unfortunately, they're all sticker two by twos instead of printed ones, but there's a map of the island, a nice illustration, and then just this little poster that says Jurassic, or it could even be a shirt. And those are held just by slipping them into the basket there, which kind of makes sense since they're so loose because many figures are supposed to come by and purchase them. Other than that, there's a backside that has a holder for a broom and also a holder for a shovel. And you do have an area if you want to stand the store clerk. You can put it right at the edge here, but uh, it's a little bit too cramped for my taste, especially with this uh, popcorn bucket there, which might pop off like it just did. So I usually just kind of put her in the back, but that's it for the build of the gift shop. Now let's take a look at the far uh, inferior build. Release the drone. And that's really what Lego is thinking because they put these in a lot of cheaper sets recently because you know, it makes sense. This is a modern technology that is very popular, but I'm getting kind of tired of them. And this one doesn't have too much substance to it. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than the ones they've released in say this far from home theme but uh, it's just not really that interesting of a build with some stickers at the side of the Jurassic World logo. Also a sticker at this back tail part. Owen attaches just by holding on to this handlebar, which in my opinion looks kind of ridiculous, him flying off the vehicle. It's almost like those oversized, uh, you know, motorcycles that are plaguing other licensed themes. That's not very interesting. And as you saw earlier, there's a play feature here of just pushing this back part and it shoots out the net, which the net is a perfect size to catch the Dilophosaurus. There's not too much else going on with the build. You can't really adjust the wings or anything like that. 
and some parts are very flimsy like this isn't the first time these little fans have fell off of the wheel parts but that's it for the builds of the set let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict admittedly it's cool to see them use a 15 dollar box size even though this isn't a 15 dollar set for a jurassic world set and at the back it shows some of the play features the instructions are pretty interesting with an ad at the back that not only advertises this year's sets but also last year's sets and it reiterates there's limited availability for them, which is quite interesting. I don't know if that means in old sets or the new sets. So the Jurassic World Dilophosaurus on the loose set is pretty good. I think the design of the gift shop is the best part of the set. Such a unique and interesting build. And it's kind of a shame that the other build of the set isn't very unique, isn't very interesting. And it's something that I guess the kids would enjoy because it's a vehicle. Kids like vehicles, whether they're a drone or a car. But at the end of the day, it's nothing that will be memorable years down the line. This has potential to be one of the great builds of this line. I also like the minifigure selection. I mean, Owen's whatever, but that kid has a great torso and great face print. The Dilophosaurus is such an improvement over the older ones in terms of accuracy. And I think for $20, while this build isn't the best, it's a decent enough value to recommend it. So yeah, I'd rate this one a B. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks again to Lego for sending me this early, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.